Hi, and welcome to Eskimo TV. We're talking today to Edel Omani. Edel is one of the leading pioneers in the field of energetic communication. This is transforming the way the world views social, spiritual, physical, mental, and emotional well-being. Hi, Edel. How are you? Hi there. I'm good. How are you doing? Wonderful. Wonderful to talk to you today. Edel, today we're going to talk about um, EERT and in, sp- uh, in particular weight loss. So let's begin with what is energetic communication? Energetic communication, people are doing all the time and they just don't realize it. Um, we, our physical bodies are, are actually energetic bodies because uh, we are, we are basically energy beings. Through, you take it through our cells, uh, molecules, atoms, subatomic particles. These are all energy because they're all protons, neutrons, and electrons. Um, and when people can actually move away from thinking of the flesh and the bone and thinking of the energetic side of it, uh, they actually then start to take a lot more control over what's going on within the body. And uh, they can, and, and I, I, you know, I do it myself, uh, bring the body back into natural health. So in what ways can EERT help people in losing weight? EERT is an energetic emotional release technique. So it's dealing with the negative emotional memories that people hold on to. And that happens uh, because all illness and um, symptoms are the physical manifestation of resistance within the body. So where people are holding their negative emotional memories will manifest itself in a physical condition. And weight... Uh, overweight, uh, as well as uh, anorexia, is nothing to do with food. It is all to do with emotions. And you can take it back, you can drill it down, and you can find that people are holding on to negative memory. Now, these negative memories may be coming from their childhood. These could be going back generations because we bring negative emotional memories from mother to child. So these could be generational memories that have been held generation after generation after generation. And, of course, over time they build up. And it's doing the internal work to clear out these emotional memories that the body will then balance itself back. So talk me a little bit through the process and how you would work with somebody um, to help them in their journey of losing weight. Okay, the, um, because I, I will take people either through my course, through my Path to Peace of Warrior course, it's a step-by-step guide in conscious creation, or I will take them through my meditation program. So this is doing deep breathing meditation, harmonic meditation, so creating harmonic tones in each of the chakras, followed directly by the energetic emotional release. Now, in this, in the EERT, I will get people to create three statements, and uh, they will tap these out through the various tapping points uh, for the EERT. Um, the three statements are where people become completely vulnerable. They have to acknowledge and admit and accept to themselves what they are holding as either negative emotions or as fear, as some, their form of fear. So whether it's low self-worth, whether they don't believe in themselves, whether they don't love themselves, whatever it drills right down to, they have to be prepared to accept, acknowledge this, because only when you can do this can energy release it. Until you can accept and acknowledge, it cannot be released. On the subject of the weight loss, would I have to keep doing the EERT in order to maintain the weight loss? No. Once you clear out the negative emotional memories, what it is, the rule of thumb is, is if you can bring back a memory and it invokes a negative emotional response, 
then you're holding it at cellular level. And once you've done the work and you clear out these, and you know, this isn't a, a quick fix. This has to become a way of life. Now, once you clear them out and that, you know, you can feel yourself change, you can feel this internally going on. But once that, in neg that negative emotion is released, it's gone. It does not come back once you've got, once you've got rid of it. And once you do that, everything starts to balance up. Obviously, you then use this in your everyday life because then you can become the observer of how you're reacting because all of your external experiences you're creating from your belief. It's just the projected perception. So you can always monitor where you are inside by how you see what is going on in your external world. Um, and so then it becomes a very, very useful tool that if you start finding yourself going back into stress, you know that you've dropped your, your body frequency and you know you've got to go back inside and do some internal work. Thank you. Thank you so much for talking to me today. My pleasure.